Costa NB1 Grey is a migratory crystallizing mineral waterproofing slurry suitable for sealing against pressurized water up to 13 bar. Costa NB1 Grey can be used for waterproofing both new and existing concrete, masonry, or cementitious plaster against ground moisture and for non-pressurized and pressurized water. Costa NB1 Grey can be used for positive and negative side waterproofing. A component of the Costa NB1 is Costa SB bonding emulsion. Correct PPE should always be worn. Exact details will vary depending on the construction site and the specific cost requirements. As well as the Costa NB1 Grey and Costa Polysil TG500 primer, you will require a block brush, a disc stirrer, and a supply of fresh clean water. Substrates are required to be intensively cleaned prior to the application of Costa NB1 Grey, use of a needle gun, grit blaster gun, scabler machine, or 300 bar pressure jet wash are recommended to remove inhibiting agents such as grease or oil. All absorbent mineral-based surfaces are primed with Costa TG500. This unique product hardens the substrate and provides a stable surface for the application of the Costa NB1 Grey. Polysil TG500 is applied with a pump-up hand sprayer or by brush. Polysil TG500 is applied to vertical and horizontal surfaces. Start spraying at the highest point until the substrate is saturated and the material starts running down the wall. Work downwards until all surfaces are saturated. Application rate is approximately 150 grams per square meter. Wall-to-floor junctions should always be reinforced with a curved fillet created with Costa Repair Mortar Plus. Costa NB1 Grey is supplied in a 25 kilo bag and Costa SB Bonding Emulsion is supplied in a 5 litre container. Remove the lid from the Costa SB Bonding Emulsion and measure 2 litres. Pour the 2 litres of Costa SB Bonding Emulsion into a mixing container containing 6 litres of clean water. Transfer the gauging liquid into a clean mixing drum. Cut open the Costa NB1 grey powder, then gradually pour the powder into the mixing drum using a disc stirrer. When all the powder is loosely combined with the liquid, mixing time commences. Mixing time is a minimum of three minutes. Partway through the mixing, turn off the disc stirrer and use a hand trowel to scrape down any material stuck to the sides of the drum. Continue mixing for the full three minutes. Using the disc stirrer, create a vortex whilst mixing. The Costa NB1 Grey should now be smooth and consistent with no lumps. Using a block brush, Costa NB1 Grey is loaded onto the substrate and brushed out in a side-to-side -side motion, creating an even layer at a depth of 1 mm. Costa NB1 Grey can be applied over preformed mortar fillets and down onto the concrete floor slab. Costa NB1 Grey can cure in various shades and tones due to the varying degrees of cement hydration and latent hydraulic active ingredients. Once dry, Costa NB1 Grey should have a grey, gritty appearance. Wetting in may be required if the first application coat has started to dry. Substrates do not have to be continually kept wet to cure. The second coat is loaded onto the substrate in the same manner as the first application but is brushed out with vertical strokes to enable a well-proportioned coverage. Fresh applications of Costa NB1 Grey should not be exposed to inclement weather whilst curing. Once cured, 
Costa NB1 Grey offers a grey, gritty surface that can be plastered directly over with Costa Restoration Plaster.